All right, welcome to Coach's Corner. I'm joined today by Coach Bobby Newcomb, head coach of the Castile football team. Uh, Castile's football team this year went 5-3 and three in their first year in 6A and won the Fiesta Region Championship. Uh, coach, how did the season go for you this year? Uh, you know, it went great. The fact that we had football games was exciting for us, you yeah. know, that with all the stuff with coronavirus, all the um, talk about uh, potentially canceling games and seasons and all that. But each week we were present and just, uh, you know, blessed to even have a game or even a practice. Yeah, and I know that coming into this season, it was really an unusual warm-up coming into the season in terms of, you know, I knew what you could do preseason, uh, you know, decontaminating equipment, doing all that other stuff. To overcome all those obstacles and to come out as Fiesta Region champions as your first year in 6A, uh, what would you attribute that to uh, from a team perspective? I think really just culture of our kids, you know, their commitment to uh, doing things uh, the right way and just enjoying the opportunity they have to play a game they love to play, you know. So every opportunity they had to go out to practice, be out in the field, to even run or be around each other. When they were quarantined for several months, being locked in their homes, they were excited just to get outside with their friends. So we, you know, we try to be as safe and compliant as possible through it to keep every kid safe and healthy. And uh, I thought we did a pretty good job of that over the summer. Uh, we had a lot of support from our parents and all that. So we had a lot of participation, and you know, kids uh, got themselves ready to play. And going into that culture piece, you know, we look at the season and we go back and look at it in review and four out of the five wins that we had this year, we were trailing going into the fourth quarter. And to come out victorious in, in, in all four of those instances, what do, you, what do you attribute that to? What would you say was the, was the key factor in those games? Yeah, biggest thing is our, our, our players are very resilient. They, uh, they, they play in the moment. They don't worry about scoreboard. They don't worry about outcome. They just worry about making the right decision, competing in the moment. And so we always talk about let the outcome and, you know, and results uh, take care of itself. But you focus on the process and, and the now. And they did that in every single game. It was a lot, a lot of fun to see and great to be a part of. Yeah. And, you know, watching your kids grow, moving into the 6A playoffs now, uh, you're going to go up against a team uh, in Highland High School who you had an opportunity to scrimmage uh, early in the year. What did you learn from that scrimmage uh, at the beginning of the season? Well, it was great to go in against, you know, Coach Farrell does a phenomenal job with this program. Those kids are very disciplined. They believe in their program. They believe in what they're doing and their coach. And they're excited to play football. And there's several of those kids I coach in youth football as well. So I, I know those kids. But uh, it just it let us know that we can compete at the 6A level. You know, we could, we could play with these guys, um, you know, especially a team like Highland that does a phenomenal job with their players. So we were, we were excited after that game. Um, and we were excited to even have a scrimmage to, in the first place. Yeah. Now, when we look at that Highland team, we'll notice that, uh, that they're really doing a good job on the defensive side of the ball. If you take out the Hamilton and Chandler game, uh, they're only giving up 11 points a game. Uh, obviously, Cam Colomore, their middle linebacker, is a, is a pretty phenomenal player. Mm -hmm. How do you feel like your offense is going to attack them uh, in this upcoming playoff game? Yeah, it's going to be a battle. It's going to be a battle. He's got a ton of tackles on the year. They run 3-4. They fly around the ball. Uh, they blitz a lot bring a lot of pressure, a lot of heat, um, but they, they pursue really well. So again, it goes back to the coaching staff and Coach Farrell doing a great job preparing them in, week in and week out. So we know we got our hands full. We're just going to have to do the best we can. Yeah. Now looking at our boys as we move into, uh, and into how Castile did this year, uh, we'll start off with our quarterback, Dane Christensen. So Dane, who finished uh, first in yards and completions, second in completion percentage in yards per game. Uh, what do you think he's going to need to do in order for us to come out uh, victorious on Friday? Yeah, he's just going to have to be the, the, the person he is. He's a great leader. You know, he has a great relationship with his teammates. Um, he's reliable. He's consistent. He's efficient as a, as a player. 70, 71% passing percentage on the year. Uh, so, you know, we just rely on him to do the things we ask him to do, uh, follow through with those things. And he's a tough kid. He's mm -hmm. taken a lot of hits, but he's gotten a back up every single time. So if he can continue that, be a positive um, example on our team, positive energy on there, we'll, we'll be just fine around Dane Christensen. Mm -hmm. And we look at those uh, weapons on the outside, you know, one that obviously comes to mind is Isaiah Newcomb. Uh, just done a phenomenal job this year in terms of his speed, his athleticism, but more important, his technique and his approach to the game. Uh, what do you think uh, he's going to be able to bring to this game that, uh, that Highland's going to struggle with? Well, certainly speed and athletic agility out there, um, consistent with uh, catching the football. Um, he's, a, he's a threat. We move him all around the field. Um, but he op opens up other people as well on our team. So our running game should open up. They'll have to key on him a little bit. Um, you know, other receivers have to make some big plays for us in the game like they've had before. Desmond uh, Holton has. Um, we will have Calvin Snell out there. Dom Dijon has been phenomenal all year. So we'll put those guys in positions where they're going to have to come through. Dane will find those guys as well. And so we feel like we'll be in pretty good shape. 
And then on the other side of the ball, when we talk about our defense, uh, we're really young uh, in the secondary, but uh, that's not to say that we're not talented in those positions. When you talk about uh, J.J. Newcomb, when you talk about uh, Kennedy Urlacher, when you talk about Jarius Grimes, uh, and those guys competing at the 6A level at such a young age, mm -hmm. uh, we've really grown a lot on the defensive side of the ball. Could you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, those three kids are special athletes. I mean, they're, they're, they don't, it doesn't come around very often when you have three freshmen that can start and compete at a high level in the secondary. And so uh, they're going against uh, top talent every single week, uh, top receivers that are going places, and um, they don't shy away from competition. They, they actually get right in the face of it. They're aggressive, they're confident players in their athleticism. Uh, they tackle well, um, they, they compete on every single play. So we're confident in them, and I think they're confident in their own ability, and they love playing football. Yeah. So we're really excited. Uh, playoff game this Friday at Highland High School, 7 o'clock p.m. Uh, we hope all our Colt fans will get out there to compete. Thank you to Coach Newcomb for joining us uh, this afternoon, and have a wonderful and safe holiday. Awesome.